Hello audience, welcome to a review of Professor Layden in the Diabolical Box. Finished this game a while ago, but, um, well, I just, I haven't made a review of it because, well, first my computer crashed and then, well, I couldn't upload anything. This, this is the only iPod in my house that has video space, it's my little brother Isaiah's. So, Sorry. Uh, back, 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 back to the subject at hand. Professor Layden and the Devil of Box. So, if you've seen my Professor Layden and the Unwound Future and Professor Layden and the Last Spectre reviews, you should probably go watch those first if you haven't seen them. Because I'll be referring back to them and comparing a lot of this video. Okay, so Professor Layden and the Diabol Bo Di Diabolical Box. Apparently, I can't say words today, but Professor Layden and his apprentice, Luke, this one guy died, and it's, yeah, have you ever heard the myth of Pandora's box, where if you open it, you die? That's what the diabolical box is, and, uh, I think it's actually called Professor Layden and, the pa and Pandora's box, or something like that, in other countries, but in America, it's called Professor Layden and the diabolical box, but anyway, they ride a train to, uh, go... Well, the guy who died had this ticket to somewhere, and... And they took the ticket... Oh, yeah, the ticket was to a town called Full Sense, and they went to Full Sense. And, oh, by the, before I continue, this review is going to have spoilers, so you care about spoilers just click off but uh but not not for a while uh, so any anyway the train sections i'm just going to start off by saying right now are really boring because every area looks the same except for like the dining car it's a lot just like the hallway and then all the rooms look the same too luckily there's not a huge amount of stuff that you do on the train so it's not that bad and full set, and the game feels really short, like way shorter than the other Professor Wayne. This is kind of ridiculous. Because basically, what you do is you wander around, you get on the train, you go to this one town called Dropstone. You figure out that you're trying to go to Full Sense because the ticket part of it's scratched out. You go to Full Sense, you wander around Full Sense for a while, figuring out stuff. And then you go to the Vampire's Castle, supposedly. And from there, the game just ends really abruptly. Bas basically, here's where the spoilers start, by the way. So if you've been watching up to this point, spoilers start here. But, uh... They go to the castle, and the vampire... The vampire is not really a vampire. He's there, and he, like, tries to capture them. But this girl who lived in Dropstone, the other town, came, was there, and, uh, well, basically, what happened was, it was revealed that all of the full sense that they saw was just an illusion created by this gas, and the real full sense was, like, in ruins, and the vampire guy, he seemed really young in the illusion, but he was actually a super old man, and his, uh, his wife, his love, had left because she was pregnant, but she didn't tell him he she was pregnant, so he thought she just hated her or something. So he went, and and his wife's granddaughter was the girl who came from Dropstone, but it just it ends really abruptly with them realizing that it's all fake and then him being all old and then I think he gives them the box or something. I don't know, but it just ends. And it's like it ends like there's no build up at all. Just that one final confrontation, it's like, what the poo? Whereas Unwound Future had a crap ton of build-up, and that's part of what made the story so good, is the build-up, you know, just you, new twist to the story and stuff. And The Lost Spectre, well, that one didn't have a ton of build-up, but it didn't end super abruptly. I mean, it had build-up. Overall, I think the Diabolical Box is probably the weakest game of the Professor Layton series. Then again, I have not played... Professor Layton in the Curious Village, or Professor Layton in the Miracle Mask. There's there's a lot of them. There's a couple that I haven't played, but... Yeah. 
I'm, I don't know. But there's a couple that I haven't played. Oh, the one area where Diabolical Box shines, I feel, above Unwanted Future and Lost Spectre is the mini games. In Diabolical Box, there's one mini game with a hamster, and uh, you place food and other things in certain areas to try and get him to run around as much. And what's cool about it is it's not individual levels. It's like you have a goal, and as you play through the game, you get more items to get him to run farther, and you set him up on this board so that he runs as far as possible, and it's it's really cool. And then there's also a camera minigame where you, again, it's not stages. You get parts of a camera, and you put them together in this camera. I never finished the game minigame because I guess I didn't get all the camera pieces. I don't know, but... It was kind of, was kind of a short-lived mini game. Not not the most fun thing ever, but more fun than the mini games and the other games. And then the last mini game, fairly unmemorable. I think it was probably another one of those ones like the ones in the Unwound Future, the Lost Spectre, where you try and like put, add the right words. And oh yeah, I remember what it was. It was a sticker book, and as the story was going, you had to put stickers in the right spot. It was stupid. It was. It was like those ones in Unwound Future and Lost Spectre where you got to fill in the story by choosing the right words. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch those two reviews. Like like I said, the, those those reviews, I bet do a lot of comparing. But yeah, the mini games are good in Diabolical Box, but the rest is meh, meh at best, annoying at worst. Not, 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 not living up to the standard that... Lost Spectre and Unwind Future. Unwind Future was amazing. Diabolical Box. Eh. It's just, it's just meant to finish. Eh. Riva Dodging.